I am Ripu Daman Singh from Chitkara School of Mass Communication, Chitkara University, Punjab. And I welcome you to this very special online lecture series on media laws. Today we will be studying Official Secrets Act 1923. In this lecture, you will be taught about Brief History of Official Secrets Act 1923, Purpose Behind the OSA, What a Secret is Under the Act, Offenses and Punishment Under Relevant Sections of the OSA, Media's Relationship with the Official Secrets Act, Dichotomy between the Official Secrets Act and the Right to Information Act, and at the end, some landmark cases related to the Official Secrets Act 1923. The Official Secrets Act 1923 was formed and enacted during the colonial period of the British rule. The Act is also known as the Anti-Espionage Act or the Anti-Spying Act. It was used by the Britishers against their enemies who used to voice their views via nationalist newspapers. The Official Secrets Act was first enacted in the year 1923 and was retained after the independence. The law applicable to government servants and citizens provides the framework for dealing with espionage, sedition and other potential threats to the integrity of the nation. The law makes spying, sharing secret information, unauthorized use of uniforms, withholding information, interference with the armed forces in prohibited restricted areas, among others a punishable offence. Section 3 of the Act makes it an offence if any person for the purpose prejudicial to the public safety and interest of the state approaches, inspects, passes over or is in the vicinity of or enters any prohibited place or any secret official code or password or any sketch, plan, model, article or note or other document or information which is calculated to be or might be or is intended to be directly or indirectly useful to an enemy or which relates to a matter the disclosure of which is likely to affect the sovereignty and integrity of India, the security of the state, or friendly relations with a foreign state. Now let's talk about what a secret is. The OSA surprisingly does not define a secret or an official secret. But Section 5 of the Act mentions secret information as any code, model, plan, article, document, password or sketch. The very idea of the Act is to keep the public away from certain confidential information which may threaten the security of the country. Now let's talk about the punishment. It is not necessary to show that the accused person was guilty of any particular Act tending to show a purpose prejudicial to the safety or interest of the state. And notwithstanding with no such Act is proved against him, he may be convicted in form the circumstances of the case or his conduct or his known character as proved, if it appears that his purpose was prejudicial to the safety or interest of the state. Talking about the prosecutions and penalties under this Act. Punishments under the Act range from three years to life imprisonment. A person prosecuted under this Act can be charged with a crime even if the action was unintentional and not intended to endanger the security of the state. The Act only empowers person in position of authority to handle official secrets and others who handle it in prohibited areas or outside them are liable for punishment. Under this Act, search warrants may be issued at any time if the magistrate determines that based on the evidence, there is enough danger to the security of the state. Now let's move forward and talk about the Official Secrets Act and its relationship with media. The contentious issue with the law is that it's Section 5 which deals with potential breaches of national security is often misinterpreted. The section makes it a punishable offence to share information that may help an enemy state. The section comes in handy for booking journalists when they publicise information that may cause embarrassment to the government or the armed forces. Problems with the OSA arise from secrecy and lack of transparency. Any kind of information is covered under the OSA if it is classified as a secret. However, the OSA itself does not define what a secret document is or what official secrets mean, and it is left to the government of the day to decide what could be a cause for being charged under the Official Secrets Act. Section 3 of the OSA deals with spying, but the definition given under this is broad and cannot be justified as necessary for protection of national security. 
it includes making receiving or communicating any document that is calculated to be might be or is intended to be directly or indirectly useful to a foreign country leading to a lack of clarity about when one could fall within the clutches of the official secrets act and consequential self censorship further section 3 of the act places the burden of proof on the accused in so that they must prove their lack of guilt or their intent now talking about the official secrets act and the right to information act the official secrets act 1923 was brought in india for the culture of secrecy and specific denial of any claim against the workings of the government and the rti on the other hand was established in india to bring transparency and accountability in the workings of the authorities and government of india however there are certain provisions enshrined under the right to information act which does not let the official secrets act supersede it for public use and reduction in the abuse of power in april 2019 the supreme court said that the rti act supersedes the osa with section 22 of the rti expressly overriding the osa and section 8 compelling the government to disclose information if public interest in disclosure outweighs the harm to protected interest just as km joseph's opinion in this matter delved into the issue further and concluded that looking at the content of provisions like section 8 along with sections 22 and 24 of the rti act it would trump the official secrets act and because of that disclosure of information can be refused only on the foundation of public interest being jeopardized according to the provisions of the rti act 2005 if there is a clash between the two laws the public interest will prevail however if the government classifies a document as secret under clause 6 of the osa that document could still be kept outside the ambit of the rti act by invoking sections 8 or 9 of the osa which allows the government to refuse information let's look at some cases for further reference and study in 2002 iftar gilani a journalist of jammu and kashmir was charged under the official secrets act for releasing secret documents in 2007 general v k singh former army chief was charged under the osa for publishing a book titled india's external intelligence secrets of raw in 2009 Shantanu Saika a journalist working for the Financial Express published an extract from a cabinet note and he was accused under the OSA in 2016 the Hindu a news and media platform was claimed to have stolen confidential and secret documents of a file agreement from the Ministry of Defence the documents were published as investigative journalism and with this we conclude the topic official secrets act 1923 we'll be back with another video pretty soon This is Ripu Dhaman Singh signing off from Chitkara University Punjab